Hey everybody, welcome back. David Yon and the illustrious Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly roundup, taking a look at some of what's hitting the adult collector's action figure market here shortly. <laughs> Maybe pre orders, something or other. Announcements. 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 This Sunday, 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 uh. we have carpets to sell. No, actually, uh, this Sunday, that's March 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, mm -hmm. we will be having an interview, live interview with Sticky Goose, Sticky Goose Comics. And that's Sticky Goose on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. You should be able to find him. So we'll be doing that this Sunday. Join us live. Shows, Toy Lanta, March 24th through 26th at the Hilton and Peachtree Corners. Big show, lots yeah. to do. Of course, we will be filming, so we will be bringing that to you. And then there's the Toy Swap Meet in Powder Springs coming up April 1st. Okay. From 10 to 3, April 1st, and that's always a good show. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. And that's it for announcements for the time being. But we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start off with Bandai really quickly here. And Bandai has Deadpool 2. A little late to the party with that, but Bandai SH Figure Arts Deadpool 2. At least this time they show you the accessories. <laughs> there you go. That's a lot of accessories. A, a, lot, lot, of a access lot of hands. Yeah, a lot of hands and then various pistols because instead of inserts, they built the pistol with the pieces already attached to it. Okay. This is 110. And he's 112 scale, right? Bandai does Roughly, 112. Roughly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's about 112 scale. So it's 110 for that. Mm. Also from Bandai, you've got Orange Piccolo. Orange Piccolo, what does he come with? I don't know. Because for some reason, Bandai doesn't always get it. <laughs> but <laughs> there's your Orange Piccolo. 140. 140 for that. And mm. remember, of course, if you go to Bandai.com or someplace like that, it's usually cheaper. That's just SRP. How about... Big Boys Toys. Mm -hmm. Big Boys Toys has a Ninja Turtles license, and they did something weird. This is uh, one sixth scale. Oh wow! Leonardo and Michelangelo. Not exactly, because as you can see, it's like this really odd-looking human character, flocked hair. It looks like with a Ninja Turtle mask. <laughs> and and those accessories. And then there's your Michelangelo, see? Mm -hmm. It's weird looking. It's different. Yeah, it is different. And so you can't wind that on another yeah. uh, Ninja Turtle. So is that a two-pack? or two? It's a two-pack. Okay. You, you buy the two of them together. 800 is Jeez. the suggestion. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's $400, 400 a piece. Wow. It's a one six scale. It kind of threw me. I was like, wow, you're getting That's kidding. more than Hot Toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting up there. God. Uh, four Horsemen. Okay. More, f more from the Four Horsemen. And this is the Blue Hag Hagnon. I think it's Blue Hagnon. Of course, you see he's transparent. Yeah. Transparent figure. This is $50. Mm. $50 range. Again, these are all 112 scale. Yes. That is Father Christmas. Oh, yeah. Father Christmas, and I like the head change out so you can make them older. Young mm -hmm. Father Christmas or old Father Christmas, take your pick. $70 for the Father Christmas. This has got little toys. Yeah. And that is mixed media, mm -hmm. so the, the coat is functional. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a horse. Yep. Yeah, hey, the headless horseman. Headless, headless horseman. Oh. Oh, I just talked about that. Yeah, you did. Headless Horseman. All of this, of course, is 12 scale, not 6 uh, scale. But yeah. it still looks pretty decent. It does. And the horse is jointed. You see the horse is articulated. Yeah, that horse looked good. I like the flaming skull. Yeah. Well, the pumpkin, pumpkin. head. It's fire. about as good as you're going to get. He doesn't know where his head is. Yeah. But uh, this is 140 for the set. Oh, well, because I got that horse. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I, w I would love, I mean, and I'm serious, I would love a um, headless horseman, one six scale with a horse, you know, like that, jointed yeah. and all of that. You need your uh, Nickelback crane, though, and he should look like Jeff Goldblum. No, make... <laughs> then he won't be a headless horseman. Well, no, but you need him to get trampled. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum played uh, 
the Ichabod Crane character in a version of the Headless Horseman for a made-for-TV movie back in like the 80s. Yeah, we for saw... For those of you who aren't aware. We saw three versions, and I'm trying to find a Johnny Depp version because De David never saw the Johnny Depp version. I didn't Depp see the version. Johnny Depp one. Um, and they're all pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, they have a little differences in there, but they keep to the same story, basically, which I can't understand how you get a feature-length film from like two paragraphs, but yeah, well. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back Here to is, the business. Here uh, is Lige is $50. That's interesting with that armor and that shield or yeah. whatever. Huh. That is the Necronominus. Necronominus is 65 But he comes with a lot of uh, accessories it's to like work with. four head chains out. Yeah. There's a lot of pieces with the Necronomus, Necronomicus, or Necronominus. What is those smoke that... Yeah, I guess it goes over his neck, um, make it look like his vapor coming from his head, something. Um, and that's it Funko. for the Four Horsemen, and we're going to look at Funko. Funko's got a lot because they got a bunch of WonderCon releases. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure who that is. Uh, some Something from the Goofy movie. I never saw a Goofy Me either, movie. but I don't know who that is. Mm. You see, it says Funko Funhouse. There's an exclusive a uh, with a diamond collection backpack there. Um, and it goes on and on. And I'll show you where you can find these also, mm -hmm. the shared exclusives. There's your uh, three liter soda villain. And those bottles are actually pretty big because we yeah, saw we one. Yeah, we saw one. I can't remember where we were, but we saw it. Do they even make three liter soda bottles anymore? I know I that was a thing was for a while. I thought it was only two liter soda. They made three liters oh, in the 80s. Liters? Yeah, I remember them in the 80s. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Lotso Bear in a, What's that? In a oh, tin Toy from Story. Toy Story in a tin with, uh, with a coin and a card and all sorts of bits. Pin. Yeah. There's Hercules. I got that set, holding but a I ain't picture of him that. Holding himself there. Mm -hmm. Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Delivering tea in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bugs Life. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy needs to go on that on my master list of characters I'm sick of seeing. <laughs> that are just overdone. Yeah, Harley Quinn, Deadpool. Yeah. The owl. That's the owl from uh, Harry Potter, the delivery owl. Bugs Bunny as Superman. That's one of the few uh, Bugs Bunny episodes where he, he ends up screwed at the end instead of getting over. Mm. Snagglepuss. Exit exit stage left. I remember Snagglepuss. Mm -hmm. Funko Freddy as himself and a clown. Mm. Pez. They're back to that again. They haven't mm -hmm. done a Pez in a minute, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Is that a pop? Yes. Oh. It's a pop of like an ice cube yeah. with a guy in it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, One Piece, uh, Pop was, Ride. Oh, I thought that was, no, that was something. No, no, it's not the Beatles. It's the One Piece. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I see that at the top now. One Piece again. I don't know who that is. I never got into that show. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't. I couldn't stick with it. I know it's popular, but you know, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. He's got his fingers crossed. Scroll as Iron Man. You see Avengers: The Initiative. Comic cover. Something from Moon Knight. That hippo was in Moon Knight? I guess so. We didn't see it. Mm -hmm. We didn't see Moon Knight, guys. Valkyrie. Oh, yeah. Okay. L Love and Thunder. Yeah. Aren't we over that yet? No. I thought Love and Thunder uh, is already done. No, because you got to have pops of it. Uh-oh. Bill Murray from Quantumania. Was that man and wasp? No, you got Bill Murray. Mm -hmm. I think they already did that stuff. I don't remember. Groot. 
That's from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But he's yeah. trying to remember what button Which to Which button to press. <laughs> that was this a one? funny scene. No! <laughs> Don't touch it! <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny scene. <laughs> yeah. T-shirt. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fun house. Yeah, fun house. You would wear that. I sure would. Proudly. And here you are. These are where you can find it. Pause if you need to. If you're in Canada, if you're looking for this stuff, this is where you can find your shared retail exclusives. Sunrise Me Records. Yeah. Mexico. Oh. Chile. Game well, they Warrior. skip it on Chile. You can always go to eBay. Peru. What, and pay that international shipping charge? If oh, you really wee. want it. Yeah. And the United States. <laughs> now, this is where you can find all that stuff if you really, really want it. Yeah. We don't hunt anymore. No. And some Target exclusives, all done in the Blacklight model. There's a two-pack from Guardians. Another two-pack. Or is that a two-pack? No, it didn't say it was a two-pack. These must be individual. No, oh, okay. I like the colors. Yeah, the colors do look yeah. good. Jumbo-sized Groot there. And a Drax uh, t-shirt pack. Drax the Destroyer. Yes, he, he was in the comics, not so much in the movie. And that's it for Funko, yay. Uh, we're going to jump into Hasbro. Hasbro with more of their Dungeons & Dragons figures, which, ooh, I hope they get that resolved. And a lot of people are fussing about their Dragon, Dungeons & Dragons figures, a lot of uh, quality control issues. But you can't even blame it on customers stealing, because it's coming from Hads Lab. Yeah. With missing parts. That's true. So. Come on, Hasbro. <laughs> what is that? A mix between an owl and a uh, a, what? a bear? Yes, it is. It's owl bear. Oh, oh, it says it on the, the owl bear. Yes, oh. because why not? Because Dungeons and Dragons. This is forty six dollars. That better be big. It doesn't tell you how big it is. It's, it just tells you like basically it's Legends scale. I'm mm -hmm. gonna assume it's big. I don't know. And you know that's it for Hasbro. Oh. <laughs> Something really quick from Hyatt Toys, because we've shown a few of their pieces already. And there you see your King Ghidra. King Ghidra, whose wingspan is... Can't you put inches on there? 56? No. That's going to be about 22 inches, guys. So the wingspan's about 22 inches. Obviously, you need a stand to keep him standing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a stand for the wing. There is some articulation. I don't know how much, though. Mm -hmm. And this is 120 Hmm. Somebody I've never shown before. This is uh, Invicta Toys making Guardians of, of Antiquity 1 12th scale figures. Generic soldiers yeah, is Roman all they guard. are. You can see his face sculpt is very rudimentary there. Mm -hmm. These are $40 a piece. For what scale? 1 12th. One one God, well, 112. 112, and usually 112 is what 90 bucks. And Greek Spartan, it. there he looks uh really tired. Well, that's cool <laughs> for if you're trying to do a diorama yeah. of something like the because it's cheaper than your average 12 scale figure, but yeah. you know, it's still it, it. it I don't know, I question the. Uh, I haven't handled one, so I don't want to say too much, but yeah. you know, it looks really rudimentary. And there's your Egyptian. Egyptian archer. He needs a he needs a two piece and a biscuit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> jump to Mattel real quick mm -hmm. with more of their Masterverse stuff. That is Mossman. That looks terrible. It does. That is awful, uh, Mattel. I mean, I know it's based off the cartoon, but the cartoon we haven't watched the uh, Kitty cartoon. The, the the figures don't look good for no, it. No, the kid the figures look awful, so I figured that the cartoon must look pretty bad too. I don't know. This don't is know. fourteen dollars though. And then here's your Savage Eternia Skeletor is also fourteen dollars. Or SRP. I heard they were canceling this show. Mm. And Shadow Weaver, but we're into the deluxe box, the uh -huh. Masterverse box now. Yeah. So Shadow Weaver, this is 24. She doesn't have legs. <laughs> mm. uh, there's your Sorceress. They love doing the Sorceress. 
24 again. I don't have pictures of the boxes for these, but I do for the next one because they're putting pig head in the uh, Masterverse box also for 24. Mm. Rulers of the sun. Sure they are. Go go rule on the sun then. Leave Attorney alone. How about McFarlane? No Batman. Oh, good. No, we're taking a look at Spawn characters. There's your medieval Spawn. These are thir this is $30 for the medieval Spawn. I like the way the box colors blend. Yeah. Actually, that's uh, they did a good job with the aesthetics on that. There's your monolith, which is 50 mm -hmm. It's bigger. Mm-hmm. And then Sin, with two ends. He looks like Lex Luthor. Yeah. Uh, is back to 30 again. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. I was like, oh, that's Lex Luthor, and then I saw that it was part of the spawn line. Like, oh, no, wait a minute. And, uh... Migo. Yeah, sneak peek from Migo, because this is all I got right now. The, the, uh, Telosian and the, and, and, what? Andorian. And oh, okay. Andorian, I couldn't think. Telosian and the Andorian coming to a Walmart near you soon. Is Wal it Walmart exclusive? No, but they always seem to have them. Yeah, they do. They, yeah, they always seem to have them in stock. At least at our Walmart, it's always a million. Now, here we go. Okay. Mondo. Yeah. And here's their first release for this year, and that is the Trap Jaw. I, I like it. Again, remember, I was collecting this line mm -hmm. up until... They started having a lot of QC problems, and especially after the 40th anniversary one that I did a, an unboxing and review for, mm -hmm. I was really upset. So I'm not buying the Mondos anymore. But, just throwing it out there, it looks good. Yeah. It does look good. That looks impressive. They came back down on their price, because mm -hmm. the price is going to be 235 for the Trap Jaw, because they were... Put, they, they were pushing the envelope with price. I mean, we were closing in on $300 for them. So they backed off on the price. However, this is only going to be for sale from March 7th to the 9th. Mm. You got two days, 48 hours to place an order, and then that's it. Yeah, you better think about it now. Yeah, think think hard. I like how they gave them the electric fly swatter, though. Yeah, that's, that is cool. That's neat. I, I like that. It does look good. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully, of course, the pictures always yeah, look the good. the pictures always look good. Hopefully, then you get it, and it looked like something else. Yeah, well, mine was uh, had a defect. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them did. Premium DNA. Uh -huh. Premium DNA is bringing back Earthworm Jim. That's your line right there. You love Earthworm Jim. Yeah, but I want the Playmates. Mm. The original Playmates, and I don't... Here we go. The, <laughs> these are uh, these are in 12 scale. $55 for Earthworm Jim there. Mm -hmm. There's another version with him in boxer shorts, so I guess his pants fall down. Uh, and yeah, it's around his ankles. This is 60 hmm. So they, they tack an extra 5 bucks on so you can see his drawers. Mm -hmm. There's your Psycro for 55 Professor Monkey for a head for fifty five. That's weird. That's very weird. What does packaging look like? I have no idea what the packaging is going to look like. Oh. There's an extra set of heads for a, a, an extra pack of heads for Earthworm, and then a traditional worm body because he's a worm in the suit basically. Mm. Thirty two for this. And then there's Bob the Killer and his goldfish. For fifty-five, and it's a dog. Yes. Okay, Bob and number four. Bob the killer and the goldfish. Well, the goldfish is number four. Mm. And this is where I get on my soapbox a little bit. <laughs> you can get the original Playmates mint on the card for less than this. They look better and they're better articulated. Yeah. I'd rather have the vintage ones. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Each is own. Putting it out in the atmosphere. Um. From Takara, mm -hmm. the Takara Transformers, Transformers not line, not necessarily Hasbro. I just wanted to show this because obviously this is Omega Supreme. They're calling him a Legacy Titan Guardian. And you see he's in blue and white and silver or gray. Mm -hmm. 200 for this. Oh, what size? 24 inches. He's two feet tall. Oh. 
So he is two feet tall and yeah. does what he's supposed to. because oh, he, tur he turns into the little platform. Oh, you got to get two. I don't know if it runs like mm -hmm. the original one ran on the track. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this one does or not. I just thought that was neat. And the price point's not that far off for a two-foot-tall Transformer toy. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was impressive. I like the color scheme, too. You need two. One in Transform mode and one in Non-Transform Oh, mode. here we go. So you can display it. You sound like the guy from Super 7. Because <laughs> he says that. Oh, you don't want to... You, you think it needs to be out of the package? You can't make up your mind? Buy two! <laughs> um, yeah. Tri-Action has got more... Of the Boglins. This is their glow in the dark zombie line now, so zombie Boglins. And that's Zlob. And they're the same size as traditional Boglins. And I like how they put them in the same type of box as well. These are 60 a piece though now. Ooh. They're going up. There you got Zonk, Zopor, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Zort. A lot of Z names. Mm -hmm. Zool. You need to use that letter because Z isn't used often. Yeah. Not Dana. Zool. Mm -hmm. There is no Dana. Only Zool. Okay. Zwork. And there they are lined up. Glow in the dark. Yeah. Maybe 300 plus tax and shipping if you wanted to get the whole set. Oh, man. That's $60 a piece. And from uh, Zerze Studios... That's mm. Kesos. It's one twelfth scale, which puts this at about nine inches tall. Okay. One twelfth scale action figure, ninety bucks. I don't What's think, he from? Uh, Greek mythology. Oh, okay. I don't think I've shown Xerxes, uh Studios before. He got a foot change out. Yeah. See so if you want to give him hooves. And then he comes in black. Well, that's the. Uh, that's the Thales. Mm. So they're they're different. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, yeah. They they are different. And this is they're called the um the Combatants Brothers of Slaughterhouse line. <laughs> Ninety bucks a piece. I just thought it was unique. Yeah. They look different. I like that. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Anything there catch your eye this week? I did like their headless horseman. Oh, did you? I, I mean, I won't get it because I know it's Black scale. Knight's gonna like that orange piccolo. Tell me if you like that Black Knight. I like the turtles. Um, oh, I really? I mean, it's different. It I mean, is, I wouldn't get it because it's basically two two guys in turtle masks. Yeah. But it is different. It is different, and 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 I it's mean, officially licensed. Yeah, and if you're gonna do something, you know, take a line, at least make it different. Yeah. And that is different. Um, but yeah, I like the, um, headless horseman. headless horseman. I wouldn't get his 12 scale. Well, it's $140 too. You gotta consider yeah, that. Yeah, you gotta think about that. I like the Father Christmas from there. The Father Christmas yeah. did look good. You see anything else that caught your eye this uh -uh. week? No. Mm, wow. And there was so much from Funko too. Uh, it's nothing in Funko I want. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, um... Like I said, I like the Mondo Trap Jaw, but after three QC issues in a row, yeah, I'm not trusting them. Right. <laughs> I, I just don't, you know, I want to wait. I, I'd rather wait and see what happens. I'd rather wait and see if they <laughs> yeah, if they're but back then you'll on top. miss out on it. Because, then I'll miss out. You uh, know, sometimes that's just the way things go. It's okay. <laughs> I like the Takara uh, Legacy Titan. Uh huh. That was interesting. I know, you know, another, and I think. Uh, Omega Supreme has been done a few times, mm. but I thought that was pretty cool. The Boglins are okay. I don't, you know, for 60 bucks a piece though, I think that's kind of pushing it, but yeah. what do I know? Anyways, hey guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Remember, this Sunday we will be going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll be talking with uh, Sticky Goose. Yeah. So hopefully you can join us. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.